Hi, welcome to another example in my series on using the difference method to sum series. And in this example, I've picked it because we're dealing with factorials. And this particular question is fairly common in quite a number of textbooks. You can often see it on exam papers, so well worth having a go at and familiarizing yourself with the methods. So what we've got here is to simplify 1 over r factorial minus 1 over r plus 1 factorial. And then hence find the sum of sigma, in other words, for r going from 1 to n, of r all over r plus 1 factorial. So if you'd like to give this a go, just pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution and methods with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's just start by copying the question down first of all. So we've got 1 over r factorial minus then 1 divided by all of r plus 1. And then that's with a the factorial there. Well, I'd want to create one fraction here. So I'm going to say this is identical to, and we'll have lowest common multiple on the bottom here. So something that r factorial and r plus 1 factorial go into has to be r plus 1 factorial. So what do we need to multiply r factorial by to get r plus 1 factorial? Well, it's just got to be r plus 1. So I need to times the top here by r plus 1, and that's just going to give me r plus 1. And then for this second term here, it's just going to be minus 1. And simplifying this gives us that this is identical to r on the top then, all over r plus 1 factorial. OK, so we've simplified then our expression up here. So hence find the sum, r going from 1 to n, of r over r plus 1 factorial. So we've obviously got this here, and this gives us a clue, because all we've got to do now is, if we just take this, OK, let's just say that sigma of r going from 1 to n of r all over r plus 1 factorial, well, we've seen that this is exactly the same as summing, again from r going from 1 to n, that this expression here is the same as what we've got here, 1 over r factorial, let's just pop it in here, 1 over r factorial minus 1 over r plus 1, with the factorial there, OK? Now, all we need to do now is just substitute r equals 1, then r equals 2, and so on, all the way through, summing up until we get to r equals n. So when r equals 1, we're going to have 1 over 1 factorial, and then minus 1 over 2 factorial. And then we go on to add what we get when r equals 2. So when r equals 2, we get 1 over 2 factorial, minus 1 over 3 factorial. And then we'll put when r equals 3 through here, we get 1 over 3 factorial, and then minus 1 over 4 factorial. And I don't really need to carry on anymore because I can see a pattern emerging. I can see that this term will cancel out with this term, and then this term will cancel out with this term. So I can expect this term to cancel out with the next term, and so on, all the way down through the list. So for this particular example, all I need to do is consider the last line here. That is when r equals n. And when r equals n, we're going to be adding 1 over n factorial, and then it'll be minus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. 
So what happens now is that this term here would have cancelled out with the term down here and then this term here would have cancelled with the next one and so on. So it would have worked its way down through the list where this term would have cancelled with the term in this position. And so all we're left with is just two terms, this term here and this term here. So 1 over 1 factorial just turns out to be 1 and then we've got minus and this term here is 1 all over n plus 1 factorial. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea then how we can use the difference method on a question like this.